when the world becomes fully vegan again including the animals okay let's check what we are going to learn in this video when the world becomes fully vegan again including the animals so in this video we are going to answer the following questions number one when will the world become vegan again including the animals number two was there a time in this world when the when the whole world was totally vegan no death number three what what is the basis of this possibility number four why do animals predate or eat 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 each other number three and uh, number five was jesus vegan number six one way to understand all the killings and sacrifices in the bible number seven how can vegan movements or advocacies truly make the world vegan why do people fail to be vegan how can we help people to be vegan and appreciation to vegan advocates and plenty of additional vegan great amazing ideas so stay tuned until the end so that we will see the whole picture of everything and we can have uh, de decide whether to believe this or not okay let's start when will the world become vegan including the animals please watch first before you judge and investigate for yourself i'll put all the links down in the in the description so that you can uh, investigate for yourself because truth withstands all investigation someday according to isaiah 11 verse 6 remember this vegan plan will make the whole world vegan not only humans you know how hard it is to convince humans to become vegans this will make all humans vegans and also all animals can you convince animals to be vegan all the animals in africa in the desert in the zoo all will be vegans my friend so this is worth considering if you actually care for animals isaiah 11 6 says the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young ones shall lie together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Oh, the lion becomes vegan eating grass. The nursing child shall play by the cobra's hole and the wind child shall put his hand in the viper's den then shall not hurt they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my that's that's god's holy mountain because m is capital for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the lord that means my friend when everybody knows god even all the domain the thorns of the thistles will not be there the animals will not attack each other because as humans we know everybody knows god everybody respects god even the animals they are back to the original okay as the waters course so the full world will be full of the knowledge of the lord when everybody everything acknowledges god then nature will follow Okay, one more verse, Revelation 21 verse 4. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. See, when death shall be no more, there are no more dead uh, animals, dead cows, dead chicken, dead goats, etc. No more death in Revelation 21 verse 4. Neither shall be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Do you want to know? To be in that uh, place where there is no more cruelty to animals no more cruelty to animals to humans also wow that's nice so stay on let's see another question was there a time in this world where there was no sin and death that means everybody was vegan yes there was the bible says in romans 5 12 wherefore as by one man that's adam sin entered into the world and death by sin so how did death enter the world by sin when adam sinned the lamb was offered as a sacrifice and since all of that and adam's son killed his other son and so on so and so death passed upon all men and also the animals and also the plants for all have sinned for so for more information about how humans fell into sin you can actually read the whole genesis 3 and if you want to know the state of the earth 
before sin, you can read Genesis chapter 1 and 2. If you want to know the state of the earth after sin will be removed, you can read Genesis 21 and 22. The first two chapters of the Bible, it was before sin, no death. And the last two chapters of the Bible, it, were, it will be after sin. That is a prophecy. Okay, so that's just a small introduction. I will explain a little bit more about that one. Will there be a time that uh, sin will not come back so that there is no more death? Yes, Nahum 1.9 says, What do you conspire against the Lord? He will make an utter end of it. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Nahum 1.9 what does sin have to do with veganism? Hmm? Sin, does it have something to do with veganism? Okay. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. So the wages of sin is death. All the death is because of sin. Remember that sin is not is, sin is the enemy. It's not me versus you. It is sin who is the enemy. That is the enemy. Okay? Who invented sin? The question, if sin is the problem, who invented sin? The Bible also has an explanation for that. In Ezekiel 28.15, Ezekiel 28 is uh, about the king of Tyre, but it is a parallel interpretation for Satan. Okay? It says here, you were perfect in your ways. Was the king of Tyre perfect? No. It was Satan who was perfect from the day you were created. That means Satan was created perfect till iniquity was found in you. So who invented sin? Satan or Lucifer. And he became Satan in Ezekiel 28.15. If you want more information about how Lucifer became Satan, you can read Ezekiel 28, 12 to 19. Or if you want something less uh, like uh, enc encoded deciphering pro prophecy, you can read chapter 29 of the book, The Great Controversy by Ellen G. White. The title is The Origin of Evil. My friend, if you read that, you will understand this whole drama of death and sin. Okay? Because to understand the solution, you have to understand the problem. Right? You have to understand understand the problem to properly interpret or uh, choose between possible solutions. So origin of evil in the great controversy. Actually, you can just read the whole book on the great controversy to see what is really being the great debate. Okay, next question. How credible is this idea? Is the Bible prophecy? Is the Bible history correct? How credible is the Bible? First, there ha first proof of credibility is that there are many changed lives. There are many former cannibals who are not eating people anymore. Okay? They stop eating their own species. There are many former criminals, criminals, ex-convicts from the prison who found the Bible and who are now pastors, preachers, and missionaries and evangelists. That's the proof that the Bible... What else? There are, 400, there are 44 prophecies about Jesus made more than 400 years beforehand that came true. You will know who is God, which word is come from, coming from God. Because God knows the beginning to the end. He knows everything and he can predict. He knows the decisions people are going to take with their freedom of choice. Okay? And he wants everyone to be saved. So prophecies being coming true is a proof that the Bible is inspired by God. It is beyond human guessing. What else? History has and is following Daniel 2 prophecies. Babylon, Medo-Persia, Greece, Rome, Europe, divided kingdom. That's why Europe can never unite as one again, no matter how much they try. Because Daniel 2 prophecy prophesied that in Daniel 7 to 8. Also prophecies and revelation prophecies, you will see that history is following how prophecy in the Bible uh, is written. You will be amazed. Only God can do that. What else? The New Testament. How, how about literary evidence? No problem. The New Testament has been preserved in more manuscripts than any other ancient work of literature. With over 5,800 complete or fragmented Greek manuscripts catalog. Now, this is archaeological facts. 10,000 Latin manuscripts and 9,300 manuscripts in various other ancient languages including Syriac, Slavic, Gothic, Ethiopic, Coptic, and Armenian according to Gary Habermas. All of these are in the description below and the link to my blog where you can click all of these links will be in the description below so you can check for yourself. What else? There are 200. So, so the New Testament has plenty of literary evidence. Okay, Literary evidence that was written 200 years before after the 
the death of Christ within several hundred years. So all of these evidence are all in the libraries, archaeologically uh, preserved. There's plenty of evidence. If you want uh, solid evidence, you can touch and see. The Old Testament, so that, uh, that is the New Testament. But the New Testament has 283 and more direct quotes from the Old Testament. That means the New Testament believes the Old Testament and 885 plus, including allusions according to Bugster's Bible. You see, there's plenty of literary proof. Read for yourself and investigate. See how great the Bible is. What else? There is a continuously growing archaeological proof. Every year, those archaeologists go to Egypt, to Israel, to Jericho, to the Middle East to dig, and they found more proof about things written in the Bible, adding to the archaeological proof that the Bible is indeed believable and historically accurate and all the prophecies and the proof of the changed life my friend the bible is very very powerful one of the most powerful books you can ever read question why is the bible so difficult to understand okay like everything else the more we read it the more we understand it it's not easy it might not be easy at first but the more you concentrate on it the more you read on it the more you will understand it psalms 119.99 says i have more understanding than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation not only the bible is very accurate and powerful it makes us more intelligent than our teachers okay next question why do animals eat each other huh? it is because of sin <clears throat> because before sin no animals ate each other no killing after sin there will be no killing therefore it is because of sin that death happens okay one of the effects of death or curses of disobedience or one of the effects or curses of disobedience is uh, animal uh, craziness or uh, animal problems some animals attack each uh, another animal okay so that when you see animals eating each other quarreling biting each other predating on each other it is because of our sins that that happens to them the whole nature groans why do roses have thorns it is because of our human sin that's why the whole earth is like that cursed because of sin question was jesus vegan now jesus is vegan because he went to heaven and in heaven there is no death therefore he doesn't eat fish there he doesn't eat lamb there according to acts 1 he went to heaven and how he went that's how he's coming back okay if jesus was not be vegan why should we bother being vegan huh? another question that has the similar answer is this why did jesus eat fish in luke 24 20, uh, 41 to 43 but he did not want vinegar in matthew 27 33 when he was crucified on the cross in in my dialect in tagalog vinegar is translated as alak alak is the same word used for liquor or intoxicating drink because those people who crucify people at those times they know that vinegar is used to anesthetize the mind okay so that those crucified will not feel the pain of being crucified okay anyway this is the reason <clears throat> how to reconcile jesus eating meat and being vegan okay number one <clears throat> he got rid of the fat leviticus 7 23 says you shall you shall not eat the fat number two he got rid of the blood Gen uh, deuteronomy 12 23 says do not eat the blood and the fish was clean you see leviticus 11 31 to 40 <clears throat> says that anything even things that used to be clean if they are put in dirty water in contaminated water in contaminated container or there's uh, other pollution or expired it will become unclean so things that are clean can become unclean remember that jesus maybe jesus cleaned made sure the fish was clean also there is another qualification for things that can uh, fish that can be eaten if they are clean and Leviticus 11.10. It has to have fish, uh, pins, and scales. <clears throat> so those are the things that make a fish unclean and becloud the mind. Why does it becloud the mind? Because of the pollution according to Council of Diets and Foods, page 383. It beclouds the mind. The reason is because all the toxic load of all the pollution or con contamination. Okay, According to Ministry of Healing, page 314. In my blog, you can click these links to see the <clears throat> context of these quotations and more information. Okay? 
one way to understand how is one way to understand all the killings and sacrifices <clears throat> in the bible first of all as i said a while ago for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord many people blame god why do people die but why don't we just blame satan he is the one who invented sin he is the one who caused all this death <clears throat> because death is cause of sin who invented sin satan so god gave his son so that we will not die jesus died who did now sin he died for us so that we can live eternally instead of die eternally so the first death in genesis 3 was the death of the lamb to teach us that our sin causes death when adam and eve committed sin god removed killed a lamb sacrificed the lamb as a representation that someday at the lamb of god which taketh away the sin of the world according to john 1 29 will die for us humans so that lamb represented the death of jesus christ which was supposed to be the death of adam and eve and everybody else who sins whenever they sacrifice the lamb my friend or whatever they sacrifice sin offering that is a representation of our supposed to be death but because of god's grace he is offering somebody else who has no sin to die for us so that we will not forget the effects of sin we will learn our lesson that our sin causes somebody else's death somebody else's innocent death that's why we have to offer on those times they had to offer these sacrifices until the death of jesus christ when the <clears throat> curtain of the temple Paul was open was was uh, divided that means all of this ceremony that point to jesus christ is finished that's why jesus said in the cross when he was crucified it is finished <clears throat> Therefore, after that time, no more need for sacrifices. You will, there's a link down there that talks about the sanctuary message or the sanctuary truth. And it talks about all these marvelous interpretations in the Bible. Okay. <clears throat> Why did God command the Israelites to kill the Canaanites? Uh, because of sin again. It's the same with Noah's time. There was a flood in Genesis 6. Why did God decide to reformat the world? To kill all flesh? Because the thoughts of the man were purely evil. Only Noah and his family were righteous. That's why. Also the same thing with Sodom and Gomorrah. Everything was wicked. <clears throat> Everything was wicked in Sodom and Gomorrah. That's why God called Lot and his family and rained down fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. That is a warning for us. <clears throat> So, but the Canaanites, they were doing evil in Deuteronomy 9.5 says, not because of your righteousness or, or your integrity that you are going in to take possession of their land, but on account of the wickedness of this nation. So God sends truth to all nations. If they don't repent, what's the use of uh, uh, generating more evil? When they did not kill all of the Canaanites, the Israelites learned the sins of the Canaanites. The reason God told you kill them because they will teach you idolatry and you will also die. <clears throat> Wages of sin is death. That's why it says, it says here in Leviticus 11, you shall not do as they do in the land of Egypt where you live and you shall not do as they do in the land of Canaan. To which I am bringing you. You shall not walk in their statutes. <clears throat> you shall not. You shall follow my rules and keep my statutes and walk in them. I am the Lord your God. You shall keep therefore my statutes and my rules. If a person keeps them, he shall live. Otherwise, he will die. Okay, Leviticus 11.35. So, you will actually see this because in Leviticus 18.25 says, The land one defiled was defiled. So, I punished it for its sin and the land vomited out its inhabitants. But in Genesis 15, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy. In Genesis 15, God said that the sin of the Amorites has not yet reached full measure. That means God is also patient with the Canaanites, Amorites. But after 400 years, God said, completely destroy them. The Hittites, Amorites, Canaanites, Pharisees, Hivites, Jebusites, as the Lord God commanded you. That was more than 400 years of grace. But they did not repent. They did not change their ways. Therefore, what's the use? <clears throat> okay. How can vegan movements make the world truly vegan? That includes the animals. Yeah. I'm When I say the world truly vegan, I am including the animals. First, there are many ways we can help by appealing to emotions of compassion and pity. That's good. You, we are concerned with the, the welfare of our animals. Actually, Proverbs 12, 10 says, A righteous man regards the life of his animal, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. My friend, if you are concerned with your animal, you have some righteousness in you. 
So cultivate. Let us cultivate and admire that. Let's learn some more. Maybe when we learn some more, we will be more. Uh, we will learn more of uh, righteousness by teaching health benefits of clean food in Leviticus 11, 1 to 31, and eliminating unclean food or polluted, contaminated food, or even clean food that has become com uh, polluted, contaminated because of the sea having all this mercury uh, waste and the waste from the city and uh, nuclear waste uh, thrown in the sea <clears throat> and other things. Also, all the waste in the in the lakes, especially highly polluted uh, localities. Third, by teaching the root cause. What is the root cause of death of animals? The root cause, the really root cause, is death. Uh, is sin. So the root cause is sin. Root cause of predation. Root cause of suffering. Suffering. Root root cause of cruelty is sin. That's how we can totally save animals from their own cruelty and human human cruelty. And number four, we can help make the world totally vegan by teaching people accurately how to go to get to the perfectly vegan uh, earth. The reason I say accurately is because Satan is trying to distort this truth. That's why we have to correct the myths that distort the solution and point to the credible, credible literature instead to understand so that uh, we can understand the big picture. There is a Satan and a Lucifer who is lying, who is telling bad things about God because he wants us to die with him. You have to understand that, my friend. You cannot ignore evil and good because the reason you want to be vegan is because you want to be good. Because killing animals is bad. Therefore, there is bad, there is good. Now, let us accurately define good and bad historically with evidence okay so let's if you can click the link below myths that distort you will learn a lot of things amazing things my friend okay why do people fail to be vegan number one lack of education proverbs 29 18 says where there is no revelation people cast off restraint but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom instruction Number two, lack of skill of cooking or preparing palatable and nutritious food according to Councils on Diet and Food 205 Paragraph 2 by Ellen G. White. Number three, poverty. There is expensive vegetable and meat is cheaper and they don't have money what do they have to what can they do of course they can plant you have to, you can educate them but if there's not enough land what can they do sometimes it's a lifelong habit since uh, when they were children until they were 60 years old and then how can they become vegan so, so it's a challenge to change what are those are the some of the uh, things we have to uh, acknowledge and how how to solve that one in the next section <clears throat> Number four is perverted appetite. According, if you click that link, you will see the description of a perverted appetite. That means the appetite is not vegan anymore. It's not original. It depends depends on many chemicals and so on and unnatural things. <clears throat> Philippians 3.19 says, Their God is their stomach. Ako. Okay. How can we help people to be vegan? Education. First, Councils on Diets and Foods by Ellen G. White is a book with plenty of education how not only veganism but also about other things that affect our health and the health of our families and the animals also she was one of the top 100 most influential americans according to smithsonian <clears throat> Other ways to help people become vegan, by example, so it's easier to people to, for people to copy by training, you know, by having some, you know, uh, lessons and practice and system, not just uh, uh, preaching, and by policy, making rules, okay? It says here in uh, 7MR55, if the patronage, these are, uh, these are messages for Seventh-day Adventists, that's why you may wonder if you go to a Seventh-day Adventist uh, school cafeteria or Seventh-day Adventist hospital cafeteria, it is vegetarian. If the patronage of our restaurants lessens because we refuse to depart from right principles, then let it lessen. We must keep the way of the Lord, though evil report as well as through evil report as well as good report. One more thing, it has it says in nine volume nine of testimony one hundred fifty seven paragraph one. I have been instructed that the students in our school are not to be served with flesh food. <clears throat> or with food preparations that are known to be unhelpful. Nothing that will serve to encourage a desire for stimulants should be placed on the tables. I appeal to the old and young and to the middle aged, deny your appetite for those things that are doing you injury. Serve the Lord by sacrifice. 
And here is a policy I found about schools, canteens, and cafeteria in schools, Seventh-day Adventist schools in Southern Asia Pacific Division. They have to remove products with substantial detrimental health effects. Meat, stimulating foods, MSG, uh, chocolate, bars, candies, rich cookies, pastries, reduce. Uh, what is this? Processed food, sweetened beverages, and replace with better nutritious and educate on how to provide these things. So that's uh, what the Seventh-day Adventist Church and the institutions are all trying to achieve and to teach and to train people about. Furthermore, there is something very heavy here. It says there are some in our institutions who claim to believe the principles of health reform and yet who indulge in the use of flesh meats and other foods which they do know to be injurious to health. I say to shots in the name of the Lord, do not accept positions in our institutions while you refuse to leave the principles for which our institutions stand. For by doing this, you make doubly hard the work of teachers and leaders who are striving to carry the work on right lines. Clear the king's way, highway. Cease to block the way of the messages he sends. Councils to diets, page 415, paragraph 4. What else can we help with in making people vegan? Enthusiasm and perseverance. It says in Christian service, page 262, paragraph 2, in proportion to the enthusiasm and perseverance will be the work with which the work is carried forward will be the success given. Wow. Perseverance and enthusiasm. What else? When something is removed, when you remove meat, we have to replace it with better things. Because in Matthew 12, 43 to 44, somebody cleaned the house to remove all the evil spirits, but the evil spirits, they did not replace it with good spirits. So some evil spirits came back, so it cleaned, and then they called seven more other evil spirits, and they stayed there. That means when you remove something, <clears throat> replace it with better things, okay? Something better. Now, we would like to appreciate the vegan advocates. My friends, thank you for the very nice, delicious, very palatable pictures you post in social media. It is very educational and very nice to look at. Thank you for all the scientific evidences that you post and about this uh, good diet of being vegan. Thank you for all your welfare, animal welfare advoca advocacies. Keep up the good work, my friends. Someday soon. The world, the whole world, including the animals, will be vegan. No more wild animals, no more killing, no more death. We hope that everybody makes the decision and even does research on how to be there. And we will be happy there, my friend. Next, other amazing vegan ideas. First, do you know that salvation and diet are related? I watched this video by Pastor Don McIntosh. He is a registered nurse, very great preacher, about how uh, the diet, the food improves the nearer we are to God in the context of the sanctuary. Number two, did you know that Daniel, who was a vegan, he was not eaten by lions, but his enemies who were not vegan, Daniel was a vegan, yeah? his enemies who were not vegan were eaten by the same lions very quickly. That story is in Daniel 6. Number three, did you know that the whole world was vegan? I told this a while ago before sin. Genesis first, second Genesis uh, chapter, before sin, it was vegan. After sin, Revelation 21 to 22, two, two chapters after sin, wholly vegan again. So read the whole Bible. It tells the story of redemption, how we are going to go back to the fully vegan earth again. Did you know that uh, people who eat pigs will not be saved in Isaiah 66, 17? Did you also know that Nebuchadnezzar was not a vegan? So God gave them a dream. Nebuchadnezzar forgot the dream. These non-vegans are forgetful. Daniel was given the same dream and he was vegan. He remembered the dream. And he not only did he remember the dream, he also knew God showed him the interpretation. And the history of the world has been following that interpretation in Daniel 2 until now and it will that means it will also follow towards the future so that's everything my friend i hope you got a very quick uh, overview of how and when will the world become fully vegan again and bless i hope 